Very good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So as usual, we just wanted to start by showing our results from the past week of the Extreme Trader Premium Signals Group. And unlike other signals providers, we are very open and honest with our members and with everyone. If we had a bad days, we will admit it and we will say we had a bad day. And indeed, we had two bad days, which was on Wednesday and Thursday. Actually, Thursday was not that, that really bad because we were able to close it with a break even. However, Wednesday was actually bad. Let me just show you here. We sent two signals on Wednesday for selling the pound USD and also buying for the pound NZD. However, um, the pound USD, uh, we closed it with the 40 pips of loss and the pound NZD with 55 pips of loss. However, the other trades were actually in profit and we were able to reduce the losses to the maximum. Then we have sent this message to the, to the members, apologizing for them, explaining that this is normal. The market is really tough nowadays due to the news of the COVID-19 virus and we were hoping for recovering uh, the losses on the next days. Thankfully, on Thursday, we had very few losses. I mean, like 25 pips of loss, then another one with 35 pips of loss. However, we had another trades for the Euro GPY hitting total of 50, uh, 50 pips of loss, uh, sorry, of profit, and then AUD and ZD 20 pips of profit. So we were able to kind of uh, uh, close it with a break even. However, on th Friday, well, Friday was really great day. Um, we made some really good profits. We lost two trades, USD CAD and the USD CHF. Then the pound USD signal hit 115 pips of profit and the NZD CAD hit 50 pips of profit and uh, NZD CAD, USD CAD. Yeah, so these were the signals. We had some good profits actually on Friday. And this is from the free group, as you can see. So we were able to close a Friday with total of 185 pips of profit. And thankfully, the members were happy. And we can see here this message from the member. He was actually glad for this opportunity. So uh, this is normal. This is Forex. It can never be profitable every single day. Of course, there will be some bad days. But this is what we are traders doing. We always able to recover because we are trading sometimes we will make some some profit sometimes we will lose some of the profit the next day hopefully we are going to recover and uh, bring more profits to recover the losses so uh, I think we are doing really so well and the signals are doing fantastic in these hard days and the market is really tough nowadays but still we were able to manage to end the weekend with good profits so uh, in the end, if you wish to join uh, the Extreme Trader Premium Signals Group, please don't hesitate to contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there soon. So going to the weekly analysis, we can notice something on the EURUSD that the pair recently is not really respecting the support and resistance levels as we can see. We can see on the EURUSD on the daily candles that we are having here very normal patterns which we can actually read. For example, we're having this previous resistance, which became a support, then the very same level has been broken out, and then the previous resistance kept its position as a resistance, and so on. However, that is not the case nowadays. We can see that the pound, oh sorry, the euro USD is moving in mo so much high volatility with not respecting much of the support and resistance. That was going for the past few days, for the last two weeks, I would say. However, recently we can see finally that this support level is being respected and the, uh, and the euro USD is actually reversing on this uh, previous support. This support here is a key support level and the pair, even though not able to be respecting these levels, is still uh, following this level of the support. We can see the high demand on this level, meaning the euro USD should be heading up this week. However, not for so long not for so long because I believe the pair is we need to follow the pair moving the movement of the pair we have to follow it so for example if the pair is moving like that meaning the pair is gonna be moving in the same way on the next week so I'm expecting from the euro USD to actually continue rising all the way up until it hit this previous resist uh, support level however that is not gonna be the signal I'm gonna make it much more much more safe signal actually so because the market, as I mentioned, is not really respecting these support and resistance levels. We are just going to rely on the key support and resistance levels. Meaning, just to be safe, since we are having this key support level 
on the euro USD and we can see that the pair has started already the reversal pattern on the very same level of the support we are going to start buying the euro USD however we are not going to keep the signal running for so much long time we are going to keep it only until hitting this previous resistance uh, we can see that we are having here this resistance level so I believe on Monday or Tuesday the pair is actually gonna reach this level of the previous resistance as we can see right here actually we can make it here at the previous support level like that so we can look for hopefully almost 100 or uh, 90 pips of profit uh, from the euro usd i don't want to give the signal higher than that because most likely the pair is actually gonna either reverse on this resistance or it's gonna continue rising as i mentioned on the daily candles it's not really clear the pair is simply not respecting all of these levels but what i'm personally sure of what i am personally sure of is that the bounce uh, the the bouncing from this support level is gonna uh, continue and the pair is gonna actually continue rising all the way until it hit let this uh, previous support let me just show you this previous support level this candle here this uh, tail here the pair is gonna reach this level and hit it so uh, the the euro usd we can send the signal to start by now buy it right away and then you can exit your trade Tech, tech profit level is uh, 1.09013 now again I'm telling you this is very small signal I mean it's like uh, it's just a signal it's not not really analysis and as I mentioned the reason is that the pair is moving nowadays randomly however I think it's gonna respect the support level and that's why I'm giving you the signal just to enter from this support level and exit your trade at this resistance and then on the midweek analysis video we are going to continue analyzing the euro USD to see how it's gonna continue moving for the whole week let's move on to the pound USD so the pound USD is actually the movement is similar to what's happening on the euro and the euro USD we can see that the pair just continued falling more down ignoring all of these uh, levels breaking out of them however even on the pullback here we can see that the pair did not really respect the other levels of the support and resistance therefore what I believe is since we are having right here a key support level and we can see that the market has made already two attempts on the very same level of the support zone let me just show you so we are having here the support zone number one this one like that sorry I didn't mean support zone number one I meant the line number one so we can see that the pair on daily candles was not able to actually close uh, below this uh, support zone it means that the pair most likely is gonna actually continue going more up until it hit this resistance level and I believe it's gonna continue rising even more up until hitting that resistance level right here so in other words let's go to the four hour chart we can see the pair as I mentioned was not able to close inside the support zone and we can see a good reversal pattern or actually a good reversal price action here happened especially this candle here it happened inside the support zone meaning the pound USD most likely is gonna now continue the rise however is it the right time to start buying really at the pound USD mm, I doubt I have a doubt about it because we can see that we are right now here on a resistance level look at that let me just uh, get rid of the zone look at the left we can see that right now actually we are here on a resistance level like that so actually this is not really the best time to start buying the pair let's go to the one hour chart we can see that the pair has started uh, already reversing on the resistance therefore I would say that the best level to start buying the pound USD is gonna be exactly on this support level right here we just have to wait for the candles to reverse for almost 30 pips and then it's gonna be actually perfect to start buying the pound USD so we can start buying the pound USD on the level 1.22394 and then exit the trade once the candles hit this previous resistance level right here 
I'm just giving you a very safe signals guys because I want everyone to be safe especially this market now is really tough to trade therefore I'm giving the signals hopefully it's gonna be uh, safe signals because after that after the candles reach these levels of the take profit we really cannot be sure what will gonna happen so 1.24610 uh, I don't think if I mentioned that but as I mentioned before the market is very tough nowadays the, therefore these signals are only based on technical analysis however if anything occurs on on uh, Sunday if any news happens that I can actually that can actually change the market direction if there was any bad news for the pound or bad news for the dollar you have to always pay attention to the news especially about the COVID-19 uh, updates always be updated to the news don't ever skip them they are affecting the market really so bad and uh, please keep in mind these technical technical analysis might actually f uh, fail due to any high impact news might happen on the uh, whatever anyway <laughs> let's go now to the AUD USD so AUD USD same thing is happening for the AUD USD we can see that the pair have moved in very similar way of the pound USD the pair just continued reversing going up here after hitting this support level we can see the strong rejection and breaking out from the support level and the pair just continued the rise and we can see the pullback now I believe the AUD USD is going to continue rising more the, all the way up until it hit this previous resist, uh, support level right here so to be safe as, uh, as usual let me just go to that, back to the 4 hour chart let's find where we can start buying the AUD USD if I'm not mistaken let me just uh, be sure and do some more analysis just to be sure of where we can start buying the pair exactly as I thought it's on 38.2 and just a second guys I'm just doing some analysis right now hopefully to find the best signal the best level to start buying the pair yes exactly exactly yes correct so we can start buying uh, the AUD USD after falling for almost 42 pips that is gonna be the best level to start buying the pair buy AUD USD on the level 0 0.593 sorry 59537 and we are going to keep the trade running all the way until it hit the top of this resistance level right here so we are looking for almost 200 pips of profits uh, please be careful guys the market is uh, moving in very much high volatility right now so this is the signal for the AUD USD hopefully it's gonna happen and the market is gonna uh, move based on this analysis let's now move to the USD CAD so the USD CAD as you can see uh, ranging on this resistance we can see a lot of strong rejection on the resistance most likely the USD CAD is actually gonna continue falling more down but of course I just want to make safe signals now therefore I'm gonna select on the 4 hour chart where we can start selling the USD CAD let me just be sure like that mm, it's gonna be tough actually the USD CAD signal is gonna be a tough one just to be safe this is the safest level to start shorting the USD CAD we can start sell on 1.4286 sorry 1.42686 and then we can keep the trade running as I mentioned before only until this previous support level right here so we are looking for almost 230 pips of profit so this is the take profit level on 1.40290 so this is the signal for the USD CAD I believe it's gonna be a good signal this resistance level as we can see is very strong the market has made so many attempts to break out from this level however I don't think the USD uh, pair is uh, the I don't think the dollar is strong enough to break out from this resistance against the CAD most likely the pair is gonna continue the fall and we can see uh, I think it's gonna be actually breaking out from this support level and continue the fall however we cannot risk anything so therefore this is your signal for the USD CAD hopefully it's gonna be good let's check right now the USD GPY 
Uh, USDCPY, if I'm not mistaken, I was expecting from the pair to actually fall from this resistance. That is exactly what happened, and the uh, USDCPY fall for almost 165 pips. Then again, went up to the very same level of the entry of the signal. Therefore, I believe that the USDCPY is actually going to continue rising all the way until it hit this previous resistance uh, support level right here. We can see that we're having here a very strong uh, resistance level, not to mention, of course, that it is actually here a previous support level. Therefore, that is on daily candles, uh, by the way. So going to the four hour chart, we can expect from the pair to rise for almost another uh, 81 pips. However, uh, we can start entering right now, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just look at that because we can see that on the left, we're having here a previous support level. And actually, the the USDGPY is moving uh, a little bit better than the other pairs. However, I believe that the pair is going to continue rising more up before uh, start either the fall or reverse. We have to wait and see the price action because, as I mentioned, the market is moving somehow randomly nowadays. Therefore, what we are going to do, let me just go to the one hour chart just to be sure of giving the signal to start buying and we are having good signal good the price action for start buying the pair uh, on the USD GPY therefore let's go to the 30 minutes just to be sure I'm giving you the best level to start buying the pair it's exactly right here as we can see we're having right here the previous support level right here which was also a support level right here therefore this level here is gonna be perfect to start buying the uh, USD GPY so the USD GPY is for the buy this week on the level 108.450 and we can keep the thread running for almost uh, 87 pips take profit level is on 109.222 uh, so hopefully the pair is going to move based on this analysis. I believe it is going to uh, happen. Let me just be sure again uh, by drawing some trend lines. Yeah, definitely it's going to happen. Let me just be sure again. I believe this is even better level to start buying the pair. However, it's just a few pips only like three or four pips. It doesn't matter. So we will keep the previous signal as it is. So that's what I'm expecting and hoping from the uh, USD GPY. Let's move to the USD CHF. So on daily candles, the USD CHF is moving similar to the Euro USD and the Pound USD as well. Therefore, what we can expect from the USD CHF is going to continue the rise and until it hit that resistance level, then we are not really sure what will gonna happen because it is actually the attempt number four. We can see that we're having here attempt number one, two, three of the resistance. Therefore, we just have to be careful when we are buying the USD CHF. So let me just uh, go to the four hour chart and let me tell you that this is here gonna be best level to start buying the pair. Exactly right here. So the USD CHF, we can expect for it to fall for almost 43 pips before it's going to be good for the buy. So we can buy the USD CHF on the, the, on the level uh, 0.9717. And of course, since uh, these signals are short signals, I'm just going to make it safe. So we can keep that red running for almost 150 pips. Hopefully it's going to be in good profit are only until the resistance level on 0 0.98742. Uh, that is your signal for the USCCHF and hopefully the market is going to be uh, following uh, this analysis. Finally, let's go to the gold. The gold, however, is not moving that random uh, movement same like the other pairs. Therefore, it's actually going to be easier to analyze. So the gold the gold actually guys is moving like that let me just show you this hold on one second all right so what i was trying to tell you is the gold is facing here a strong support zone however this support zone is actually quite big but the pair is not able to close below this support zone right here now finally after the breaking out from the support zone let's draw another support zone right now so we can know exactly 
where the pair is moving or ranging. It's very important actually when we are analyzing the market to draw the support and resistance zone so we can we will be able actually to read uh, the breakout candles. That is very important and I have uh, explained it in another video which I will release later. So that is the support zone. That is the zone actually. We can see that the pair has made a breakout level from this uh, support zone. Then this uh, the market once it reached this previous uh, support zone, it reversed. So this uh, it it has created this resistance level. Then again, finally, if we zoom in, then finally we can see the bullish breakout candle and the candle closed. Uh, at the top of the resistance uh, of the support zone and we can see here the candles also went inside this zone so it created this tail meaning it has created already a support number one and right here we can see the market um, trying to go inside this zone however it's not able to meaning it's just it's just going to continue the rise so what's happening right now is ranging here uh, the market is in consolidation mode for the gold However, I believe the, the gold is going to actually fall down, retesting this previous support level. This support is going to keep its position as a support and then the gold is actually going to continue the rise. That is of course on the 4 hour chart. So we can consider that this one here is support number 1. And now we are waiting for the market to touch the same level again to create a support number 2. That is going to be actually our entry and that is going to be, in my opinion, a very good deal. Let's go to the one hour chart and see it again. So indeed, we can expect this support level right here to keep its position as a support. And we can see the candle. Look at the candle right now. That indicating that the candles or the market is going to now continue falling. So I believe on Monday opening, the market is going to make a strong fall. And if I'm not mistaken, it might even open on Monday morning inside this support zone. Therefore, we can start buying the pair exactly at the same level right here. So uh, let me just be very sure and accurate about the level. If I'm not mistaken, it's exactly like that. This is perfect. I'm happy with this. I'm, I'm very satisfied with this signal. So we can start buying the gold on 1600.26. And just as the other signals, just to be safe, I'm going to exit the trade just right here at the previous resistance. So we can look for almost 170 pips of profit for the gold. So the take profit is going to be on 1618.16. So really hoping the market is going to be loyal and it's going to be respecting this uh, analysis and hopefully it's going to be accurate and hopefully more it will bring more profits to all of our members and followers on this uh, channel i really wish you guys the best and i wish if it's gonna be very profitable week for everyone in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching